The day has come. They built a drone for humans. I don't know why, but I don't feel happy about this. But this is nonetheless a pretty awesome um, success from a Polish-Swedish company, which has become the first in Europe, one of the first in the world, to create a viable drone that can bring a human along. I already see the skies filled with idiots blaring out music, crashing into trees. But maybe I'm just being too negative. I don't know why, but I have strong resistance to this drone. This drone is actually a one-person flying chair. And I'm just going to read out the stats for you. I'm going to have to read off this. Uh, made from aluminium, aluminium and carbon fiber. It's powered by eight electric motors. I'm wondering, is there a weight thing on the drone? Because you can imagine that some drones would need to be more powerful than others. It can reach a top speed of 63 miles an hour. Which that's pretty fast. I think we're 102 kilometers an hour with a maximum flight time of 20 minutes. So that would be, let me see. I go 100 kilometers an hour, I could probably get to the other side of Warsaw, for example, the other side of a city quite easily, you know, flying at 100 kilometers an hour. You can see some pluses. Now, the um, the drone, Editor Philip, if you can flash that up, just press the buttons, whatever it is you do with your um, special machine, uh, and look at that and see the, the, the um, drone is called Jetson 1, which sounds a little bit like a Swedish footballer to me. Um, and it was created by a Swede called uh, Peter Trunström and a Pole called Tomasz Patan. And they're working together. And basically, as you can probably see, this is the way of the future. Okay, Editor Philip, just, just show a bit of the Jetson. Okay, you've watched it. You're probably quite excited about it. I'm getting a bit more excited as I watch it. You're probably asking yourself a question, how much does it cost? $92,000. So it's way more expensive than the average car. Uh, and I can't see it being used particularly quickly uh, for normal people, as in normal people like, I guess, you and me. Um, but they already have 12 customers from Germany, Sweden, Italy, and Spain, with more signed up for 2023. And clearly... This could have a lot of potential for, for example, Poland's overstretched and busy border force uh, and for a whole bunch of other army and services and shipping and that kind of thing. I guess this is the future. I don't know why, but the Jetson 1 and person drones. I don't know. The last thing I want to see is that sky filled with drones, but maybe I'm just being a maybe just being a Luddite. What do you think about the idea? And let's just take our hats off and give thumbs up to this remarkable Polish Swedish um, combination and cooperation. I have a feeling this isn't the last time you hear about the Jetson one.